In this video, we'll show you the three different ways to add a DVR, NVR, or IP camera to Smart PSS. The first method is using the auto search feature. First, log into Smart PSS. Next, choose the devices icon on the bottom left. Scroll over to the top left and click auto search. Here you'll find all devices on your local network. We're going to select this NVR with the IP address ending in .106 and click Add. Type in the NVR's username and password and click OK. If you're adding an IP camera, simply enter the camera's username and password just like we did with the NVR. The green circle indicates that the device is online. Now scroll to the top left and click the plus sign to add a new tab and choose the live view icon. Here we see our NVR and cameras that are connected. You can double click the NVR's IP address to pull up all cameras at once. To remove the camera feeds, simply right click and select close all videos. You can pull up individual video feeds by double clicking the camera underneath the NVR group. The next method is by manually adding a device. Choose the Devices tab and select the plus sign Add icon in the top left corner. Enter the credentials for the device. In this case, we're adding an NVR on a local network. Click Add and wait for the green circle to indicate that your device is online. Then go to Live View to pull up the camera or device. In this case, we have an NVR. Here is an example of how to add an NVR located at a remote location using an external IP address. We're going to add a device manually the same way we just did, but now we're going to use an external IP address. The third and final way to add a device to Smart PSS is the P2P method using the device's serial number. You will first need to enable P2P to whichever device you'd like to add, then obtain its serial number. Here's how to enable P2P on a DVR or NVR and how to find its serial number. First, log into your DVR. Navigate down to Network under Setting. Scroll down and click Easy for IP. Here's the DVR serial number. Make note of this for later when adding the DVR to Smart PSS. Enable P2P functionality by checking the Enable box in the top left corner. Then click Apply and Save. If you're not accessing your DVR directly with the monitor, you can enable P2P using web service through Internet Explorer. First, type in the IP address of your DVR into the Internet Explorer web browser. Log into your DVR. And then we're going to click the gray setup tab on top. Then click network on the left and navigate down and select easy for IP. Check the enable box to enable P2P. You will see the DVR serial number once again under the QR code to the right. After you've enabled P2P by checking the enable box, click save. Here's how to enable P2P on an IP camera and how to find its serial number. First, type in the camera's IP address into an Internet Explorer web browser and log into the camera. Next, navigate to the top right and click the setting tab. Scroll to the left and select network and then TCP slash IP. Find the easy for IP tab and click that. Enable P2P by checking the enable box. Here you will find the camera's serial number. Make note of this for later. Click save and wait for the message to ensure your settings have been stored. Now that you've acquired the serial number for your DVR or NVR, you can use it to add your device to Smart PSS. The process is the same for adding an IP camera. Go to devices and change the method to add from IP slash domain to SN for device support P2P and fill out the device's credentials. Once that's complete, select add and wait for the device to go online. Next, you can go to Live View to view your device. Thanks for watching.